All right, people. Back at it. Half fast. Someone I'm back at it. Anyway, uh, what I'm doing is my rear bumper sensors. These little chingies. So, uh, yeah. I'm still messing with this grill. This plastic dip's a joke to take off. Ooh, we have a big old mass of metal shavings. So as you can see, we got one, two, and three in here. Sorry for the wind, if it is windy. So what I did to try to get low for the wind is so from here over, I did four inches exactly. And then from here over to here was 18 and a quarter inches, and then it was two and three quarter inches down. To the center. I measured the the uh, old one. So, and if you look on the back side of these, we got these two little nubs, one there and one here. So you have a nub there, nub there, but everything else is smooth. So obviously that means that that goes down because that's how it was on the old bumper. So. I'm going to drill a hole real quick, just show you real quick what I do, or what I did for these. And what I'm doing, I'm just using a step bit at 1 and an eighth inch. So I go to 1 and an eighth inch, and then I just barely touch it with this 1 and 7, 6, 7, 30 seconds. And then to get the notches, I use a file. So let me get you set up, and uh, we'll get this all done in here. I'll be right back. Alright, let's do it. I did pre-drill a little starter hole with an eighth inch drill bit. So, just come in here and just start drilling away. Takes, pull the tape off. Probably, well, I'd recommend the tape, but that's just me. So then I come in with a file and I just scrape it on the back. Try not to cut yourself. I have man hands, so I got calluses all over. So I just stick this in here. So as you can see, it's not gonna fit. Oh, I'm moving away. <laughs> it won't fit because of those nubs. So I just come in here, put that there. A little valley for that one. Come in, line it up again. Make a little valley for that one. Make it a little deeper, so as you can see in here so I just make those two little valleys for the bottom of this so as you can see it's tight then just slap it in that's some, that's some uh, what do you call it sharpie marker that'll come off so that's it 
sits in there flush and then when it heats up they'll form to whatever because one of these was actually I think it's this one I think this one was over here where the dent was where the dent was there and then you have that one so I'm just gonna sweep all this all the shavings up pick up my twos in the trash like that grab my tools and then uh, yeah just clean up and then I'll put all the sensors back in and we'll have uh, rear backup sensors and then the bumper will the bumpers will officially be done so anyway it's getting too windy out here well, I'm breezy not windy but anyway uh, yeah that's pretty much it that's all I did so now I just clean up a little bit more um, and then that's it so I'm gonna go ahead and put all those sensors in clean that mess up and uh, and that's it for this video guys I just wanted to do a little update on it I'm still working with this stupid front grill this grill is killing me man um, I don't know what to do I tried putting air under it to try to make it bubble to bubble up and all it did was make a really high-pitched squeal which was really annoying so yeah basically I'm just gonna uh, yeah I don't know what I'm gonna do uh, I'm just gonna put those sensors on and uh, that's it so um, yeah I don't really know I just came out to do that. I just wanted to show you guys the little notch that you guys need to do if you're going to drill them. Because like I said, you, I couldn't find a primer bumper. I go, all I could find with the sensor holes was chrome bumpers. So I don't know if it's part of the option. So, and uh, that's what the powder coat people asked me if I was going to do if I had sensors. And I said, yeah, I have sensors, but I'm going to have to drill the holes. And he said, well, why don't you drill the holes now? And I said, I'd rather do it while it's on the truck. So he just recommended using the tape and uh, try using the step bit. So, And then when those sensors go in, obviously they'll flare that little piece out. So it'll hold it in there tighter. Um, but yeah, so check out my last videos, guys. Uh, last video check out my other videos um, uh, subscribe over here like comment below let me know what you guys think um, and uh, yeah that's it alright guys thanks for watching later